uh, the lovely and talented Brie Olson. Hey, Brie. Brie, it's been a while. Hello. Hello. Oh, that sexy that, voice. That, that Brie voice. voice. Yes. How are you, Brie? Wow. Good. Brie. I'm in Indiana. You're in Indiana? Yeah. Yeah. What we, time uh, is it? Oh, Jesus. What Same time? time as y'all. Yeah, as y'all. Wait, you're on like East Coast that. time now? Yeah. We, uh, oh, we, I don't know why I thought it was later. Yeah, you're on the first time zone. Takes a lot to get to. You're on the front cover of the May issue of Penthouse looking really, really fun. My God. Really nice. Yeah, that's a great cover shot. And then you got some um, a nice uh, pictorial. You're, les you're lezzing out. Yeah, you're lezzing out with, with a girl. girl. Lezzing out, as I like to say. Yep. Well, it's better being on that than these days being on New York Post and everything. Well, that's true. You, you have gotten a lot of exposure uh, of late. Well, not this much exposure. Ha <laughs> ha, get it? Oh, hey, Bri, are you still doing? Uh, are you still doing movies? Or are you only doing shoots? Um, you know, I'm not sure right now. I'm getting ready to go to LA for a few photo shoots, and I may end up dabbling into movies again. When's the last time you actually shot a film? Um, it's been a few months now, but I months. haven't, you know, I, it never came out of my mouth that I <clears throat> retired or anything like right, that. Right, right, right. So, um, you know, I've just been busy with other things. By obviously. the way, that's Jim Norton talking. Uh, do you know Jim? Do you remember Jim? I think you, I think you know Jim. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Teasing, of course. <laughs> now, so was it a girl, girl, the last one you shot? Or was it like guy, girl? I don't remember. Oh, nice. <laughs> she doesn't I even don't, remember. because everything kind of came suddenly and off guard. Like, I wasn't expecting to oh, be then like, it was a guy. out of the industry. <laughs> into yeah. The whole what the hell are you, that I just got what are you, out of. What do you do in Indiana? Like, you seem to keep going back there. Is it is it just to kind of breathe for a minute? Yeah, I just built a house out here um, this past summer. So. Wow, you, yourself? Uh, yeah, all so by that's myself. That's very hard you know, I got to the do. Cameras out and then <laughs> yeah, started whittling away. <laughs> um, no, but so uh, I've been working on that and just uh, well, it's all done now. But I've just been decorating and just hanging out with my friends. You know, I grew up here, so my family's Who, here and everything. Yeah, who's lucky enough to be Brie Olson's neighbor? <laughs> Can you imagine? Oh, man. My neighbor sucks. I'd invest in, like, binoculars and fucking telescopes <laughs> yeah, right. and camera equipment. <laughs> Although, you know. Tunneling equipment. Why? I could see her naked. Just get a magazine like, or a movie. You know, it's, it's Silly. Just, it's just... Can you imagine if she mo was right next door to you? No. That'd be great. Hey, Bree, how long, how long into this, like, whole thing that you've been having happen, how, how long into it did you realize, like, this is going way farther than you would have thought? Like, it was getting much more publicity than you would have thought. Um, you know, I, I honestly, I, I didn't really think about any of that beforehand. I just, you know, was like, <laughs> I don't know. Because you're famous. I mean, you're very well known in the industry. Yeah. And even people out of the industry know you. <laughs> but this was like, all of a sudden, mainstream press. I thought you handled it really well. Like, you didn't do anything crazy or stupid. And, and, I, and I know that even myself, I certainly probably would have fucking blown it. But uh, how did you keep things under control so well? I don't, I don't know. I mean, well, I'm, I don't really have a crazy lifestyle to begin with. I'm pretty um, laid back and almost boring, you know, in my regular life. So I guess that just kind of showed when, you know, all our whole lives are basically being documented and i was just kind of in the background i remember this one interview there were all these camera crews in our house and everything and everyone else is talking and then the camera goes to me they're like you have anything to say i'm like uh go vegan <laughs> you know <laughs> <laughs> so that's just it's kind of how it was and i just kind of i don't know it was it was a lot for me did you so. find that people were trying to like cat like because the media is so repulsive did you find like whenever they would whether they would talk to to uh, Charlie or the other girl were they trying to like catch you by saying something like or trying to trip you up because they they don't seem to like to do straight just straight interviews. Well, it doesn't even matter, you know. After that whole thing, I realized that all those magazines and just the press and just everyone gets the story so backwards and like um, on television interviews, they completely edit it and chop it up any way that they want to, and it's amazing. You could give a perfectly good interview, and unless that's live, you know, like I said, they can edit it any way they want and make anyone look, you know, ridiculous. Like and yeah. it's like the thing to do, and I forget who did this. It was a wrestler or somebody who actually 
taped, oh, it was someone who did O'Reilly, and they taped the full interview themselves. And then when O'Reilly released it edited, uh, they released it the way it was. And they kind of made a fool out of O'Reilly because it was very obvious that he had edited it kind of shitty. And it, <laughs> they do do that unless it's live, like you said. Well, good. I wish more people would see that because, you know, the general public, middle America and everything, they don't realize that. They just watch the news and they just assume everything that they read is true. Were, were you guys kind of acting a little bit uh, just to, to kind of punch things up for, for the, the cameras, especially at the beginning when it, it was, it must have been fun at some moment before it got a little out of control. But was there kind of a, a thing when the cameras weren't around like, okay, next time that we get on the 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 press thing uh let's do do this or that no no really no Cause some, sometimes it seems a little calculated <laughs> no <laughs> i mean it could seem that way like i said because the way people edited things and stuff you know so it's like the 2020 piece for example they interviewed um uh, me and the other girl for like half an hour and they ended up using like a one minute of us, yeah. Know? It was just a certain one certain sentence that I said or that she said. So. Did it make you look bad, or because they have to do that in an interview? But did they do it? Do you think to try to get a certain angle on the story, or do they just think well, they do it to make it look as dramatic as possible? Right, so right. Any, you know, anything they can do to make because people love drama. You know, if everything is yeah. calm and happy, and no one's going to watch that. They're like, oh, that's boring. That's like my life. Why would I watch that? Were you Were you thinking at all of uh, of marriage recently? Like, not that you planned on it, but like, was there a party that thought maybe, you know, maybe things are a little crazy, but they can settle down? No comment. <laughs> All right. Um, that's not a no. <laughs> I, I mean, I'm saying it, it might be a, just a, an instinct for people to start uh, thinking that. I mean, I know I probably would if I was in that situation. Mm. Um, are you at least happy with the way things are? I'm so happy now. I'm happy to be back home and have my own life and be doing my own thing. And, um, you know, I just... It's good to be home and, and good to be on my own program. Yeah, uh, huh? it, it definitely motivated me to want to do things mainstream, but not in that fashion, though. Like, um, <laughs> I'm sure a lot of people assumed that I had done that, like, to try to get, like, my 15 minutes or something. But I don't know if anyone has noticed or not. But unlike all the other girls that were involved with Charlie, I've never went and did any interviews after Charlie and I. You know, I've yeah, never it's kind of true, right? Papers. I've never, you know, and <clears throat> these people, they're the vultures. They offer you a lot of money, you know, and it's like, I'm not interested in that. I just, you know, it was an experience for me. And, you can make you know, your own money off of those nice tits of yours. <laughs> Jesus <laughs> Christ, you see those fucking so, things? <laughs> so um, I was just, I was open, you know, to just going through an experience, a, you know, a life experience that a lot of people, you know, they can't say that they'll ever do in their lives. But um, it definitely encouraged me to want to do some mainstream stuff. So I'm actually planning on getting an apartment in L.A., and I hope to um, get involved in some classes and basically start from the bottom up just like any other person would well, do. Honestly, uh, you really didn't come off at all like you were looking to capitalize Not on it because all. again there were no interviews you weren't doing anything crazy or it was amazing to me because again I know that I probably would have buckled and w when you're in a situation like that like the, after a while did you start to be you know because you're Brie you're, you're very well known in what you do was there a part of you that kind of resented being one of the goddesses and you just kind of wanted your own individuality back did that bother you at all yeah yeah it did mm. I mean who who would want to be just you know put in to categorized into a group when for so long of time I've been my own person yeah, and true. I was already my own person publicly so I knew what it felt like you know to, um, and you know it's just I had to watch everything I said and I still do you know <laughs> yeah. I mean my, my Twitter hasn't been the same because it's like oh what if I post this uh, these people are going to take it wrong so that's kind of sucked <laughs> Were you, a, do you I, I get very jealous like I've had a few threesomes in my life and I don't know how people do it, maybe because I'm insecure. Were there ever moments where you'd kind of just like, hey, look, I wish this was just me and this person, and there was nobody else here, or did you not care about that? No comment. Okay, so that's a maybe. <laughs> no comment isn't a no. I know I would have gotten, I, I, get, I won't say possessive like a psycho, but I get a little bit, are you, are you by nature a jealous girl at all? No. But no. It, See, if Jim. you were to ever talk to any of my ex-boyfriends or anything, that would be the last thing they would say. Is it that you were you, you really didn't oh, care? Oh, really? No. Um, what does it take to make you jealous? Because I have my my limits as well. What does it take to make me jealous? Yeah, meaning that's a really good um, question. Meaning, because for me, 
it's not necessarily, hey, my, the girl I'm with fucks somebody else who is a great fuck. It can be some kind of a weird emotional thing, or there's weird shit that will, will sometimes trigger jealousy for me. I didn't, jealousy is <laughs> such an ugly emotion, and I try not to involve that in my life. I would say the only thing that would really make me upset in a relationship is someone that lies, and you know, that would like sleep with the girl behind my back or something. I mean, if we had an open relationship about it, then that would be one story, but there's nothing that bothers me more than someone that would lie to me because that means there's no relationship there at all. And if you had an open relationship, would it bother, because I've had a couple of those, and here's where they, they tend to get hairy. If you're in an open relationship, and then there's that one person you don't want the person to sleep with, or if it's somebody you know, there's always like a weird catch in open relationships. See, I've never done that. That's another thing. Uh, mm. Any Anyone, I've never set rules. Because oh. I'm like, you know, what's the point in saying, okay, go do whatever you want, but not really. You can't do this and this and this and this. And I'm like, there's not going to be anything like that. But... um if I had advice just to give to anyone that's like, oh, my gosh, so, you know, that has to be so cool to have open relationships, and I wish my wife was like that, and da, da, da. it really is. Like, there's a reason that it started with, like, two people and right. just, like, couples and everything, and I just think it's a lot more intimate with two people. I mean, even in my <clears throat> scenes, you know, when I was shooting movies, I always preferred one-on-one -on -one because it's like you can give each other your full attention and just become a lot closer than, you know, if it's three people then that's more time you have to split between more people so i would say just in general relationships mm. are better one-on-one -on -one. and uh you look really great honestly the penthouse spread you look uh you're on the cover and uh you look fantastic and and the spread with the other girl is really really hot mm, um sexy did you did you like because i saw a picture of you on stage and it was like you were, you, were, you were dressed pretty casually at least from the one photo i saw right yeah, there's a long story behind that. <laughs> what what did you want to dress different or did you not want to dress different? No comment. <laughs> okay. Um did you That's like being on stage no in front of that many one. people? I didn't mind. No, it doesn't bother me. Any stage fright or no? No. No? No. So how was the uh how was the ovation yeah. there from the uh the crowd? Cuz I've read some things and again the press who the fuck knows. But um was it was it welcoming or was it were there hecklers? What was going on? It was. I mean, during as soon as the show opens, it, it's unbelievable. Like no matter what Charlie does, everyone still loves him so much, and um, you know. So there were standing ovations at any show that I had been to. And, no, that was people um, walking out, Bree. Uh, well, the <laughs> you have to stand up before you walk yeah. out. <laughs> in, in, no, in Detroit, um, you know, obviously there were tweaks and everything that were made after that show. Yeah. But after that, it was pretty smooth sailing. And then, yeah, I mean, occasionally people walked out or whatever. But can I say what was impressive about that was the fucking he got booed the first night. It was it was yeah. rough. And the second night in Chicago, he did well. And then like. In New York, the radio city, they said the first show was, the show was tough, and then he talked shit in Connecticut, and it was supposed to be a disaster, and the second show in Radio City was actually supposed to be good. It was like, that was one thing, as a stand-up, I'm like, you know what, he fucking adjusted quickly. Right. <laughs> he knew he had, had to. to, yeah. yeah we're, I was very impressed with that, because I'm like, there's no way he's not going to be dead in front of all these people, you just can't do that. Was there a lot of panic behind the scenes, people trying to put the show together? Because whatever they did, it seemed to start working. You know, it's not a lot of people putting the show together. It's basically Charlie, and he's the one that makes the ultimate decisions, and then people might kind of throw an idea or something. Um, but he came up with the whole thing on his own, and it's. And I think that's another thing that people expected was because he was on Two and a Half Men, a comedy show, that it was going to be uh, basically stand-up, and right. it wasn't. It, that's not what the show is at all. It was just him there to, you know, tell his stories and talk about the truth and kind of, you know, just for that audience to be in the mind of Charlie for an hour or so. Well, well, I'm sorry, what was your feelings, like, as, as a friend even? Because as a comic, like, I love watching people fucking bomb. Like, there's nothing that makes me happier <laughs> than seeing one of my friends shit to bed. Uh, but, you know, for a non-comic and he's not a comic, what was going through your mind when you were watching those rough moments as, as like, a friend of his and as a person who cared about him? Oh, uh, no comment. Would you be upset? Or did you, or did you figure, ah, fuck it, he'll walk it off, it won't be a big deal? Uh, no comment. Well, that's not a bad question, I don't think. Um, 
let's see. <laughs> uh, were you worried that you were going to have that problem when you went out there, or were you confident that things would be okay? I, I didn't, you know, uh, it was very quick for me. I was really in and out. Um, so I didn't, like, have, like, anything, no lines or anything like that. You know, I spoke a few times in front of the audience, but for the most part. Uh, Just a little eye candy. Yeah, I guess yeah. so. Was it hard as a performer? Because I mean, you're, you're not a background performer. You're, you're, you're obviously, you know, you've won awards. Uh, every again, you, you're, and I'm not being polite to you. You're fucking huge in the industry, and you know you're huge in the industry. Was it hard for you to take a, a kind of a, a background role, quote unquote? You know, it was definitely different for me. Um, yeah, it was. I mean, everyone prefers to be the one in the spotlight. I don't care what anyone says, you know. I mean, I wasn't jealous about it or angry about it at any rate. I mean, Charlie's worked very hard, and he has a really long-standing career, so um, that's to be expected. Geese in the um, background. But, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> do you, do you, now, you're happy to be back in Indiana. Um I mean, we have to ask. I mean, what? What if you don't? You don't want to get too detailed. You don't have to. But what made you want to leave? I mean, did you get sick and tired of just the life, or did you just miss home? Oh, no comment. Definitely the no comments. Let me just tell you. I could give you guys very short answers or untrue answers, but I don't want to do that because I'm not a liar. So no, I'd rather just say no comment. That's fine. I mean, we're not, we're not we're not freaked out by it. I mean, you know, it's 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 cool. You talk about what you want to talk about. You know, we like you. It's you know, but we have to ask. I mean, obviously, you know, we, we can't not ask. I mean, it, otherwise we're morons. Is it that I, you were? I don't, it, I don't blame you. Is it that you were just sick of watching Apocalypse Now? <laughs> Maybe that was if it. You guys, if you guys get Casey Jordan on the air, I mean, you, you know, if you get girls like that, then you know you can ask any question you want. I would actually, honestly, I would rather talk to you because they they will say anything to any radio show. Uh, and there's there's no fun in that. It's almost like who gives a fuck? We know what they're doing. They're just trying to 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 grab a headline for themselves before it goes away. I, I would mm. rather talk to you know, yeah. at least have a real answer from somebody. Bree, are you out for good? Because some people say that you're still a goddess. You're still one of Charlie's goddesses, and you're just no. taking a little break. No, I'm my own goddess. <laughs> uh, you just want. She just wants. Yeah. To yeah. Move on. Sometimes you want to just move on, and it's like you know certain. Uh, uh, how is uh, how how? Let's just say this in a very general term. How in the last few months, no people named, how were your sexual experiences? Were they good, bad, or average? I can't speak of that because I don't mind talking about my own sexual experiences, but everyone knows the people that I was involved with, and I'm sure they wouldn't appreciate their sexual experiences being put out there. Oh, shit. Wasn't, wasn't good. Well, yeah. <laughs> I'm not, it might not be bad, but it might have been a little odd. Cause <laughs> my guess is you were bored. My guess is you were bored after a while. <laughs> how about this? Is it hard... To sleep with regular guys after when you're in the business, um, I asked um, Belladonna's husband this too. Like I, I didn't know how he did it. Like, is it hard to sleep with regular guys after after being in the business? Because the guys are perfectly built and professionals. Um, no, not at all. Like just like civilians, you mean? Yeah, just people that don't do that for a living. That have regular dicks or regular bodies and have regular staying power. You know what I mean? And I don't know. You tell me, Jimmy. Mm. Well, <laughs> I, I I would love to believe that you certainly enjoyed it. I mean. <laughs> I know for me, I, I ran down the hallway making whooping noises. <laughs> <laughs> That's a great question. Do you still have a little something for Jimmy? Jimmy will always be in my heart. Aww. Thank you very much. <laughs> yeah, we're friends. Who, we who, we who, stayed friendly. Who is better, Jimmy or Charlie? <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> I don't want the answer to that. <laughs> Charlie is too crazy Earl. sounding to not be a decent <laughs> fuck. I, I know the guy is at least a really crazy good lay, so I don't even want to be compared to that. Yeah, I, I, I tend to be mellower than people lay. think I'm going to be. Yeah. yeah. I'm a little bit mellower. Was there ever just a conversation that actually was intelligible and... Like, hey, that's kind of cool. Or was it always catchphrases? <laughs> <laughs> Seems no to be a lot, a lot of cat, a lot of catchphrases and uh, and lines and stuff. I would just imagine a conversation like, "Hey, uh, yeah, that show was pretty good. Yeah, yeah, that was fun." Uh, or, "Yeah, yeah, you want to take a shower or something." You yeah, have a conversation. You got to care like, about the other. Person. Not like you know, hey, I got Charlie. a rocket rocking into the shower and yeah. cleanse the body of the god that I. It's like, why? Well, you're just taking a shower. Lighten up. <laughs> What, was there ever a point where uh, you were still enjoying yourself, but where you looked in the mirror and you were like, Ugh, all right, already? <laughs> oh, goodness. Uh, we all have them. Can't really say. Um, 
This is one that everybody wants to know. So I, we'll think, just, I, I think the answer to that is absolutely. Possibly. I mean, sometimes a no comment is telling. It's I like not that a definite we just yes. make up our own answers. Yeah. Yeah, we'll just make them up. Uh, <laughs> I have a feeling there wasn't a lot of sex going on. Yeah? Yeah. Um, let's just say this. Everybody has been asking, uh, is the guy sober? Um I mean, it's a fairly... I thought that people were trying to throw him under the bus and saying he was using, and I actually didn't think he was using. He seemed to me like just somebody who had probably been up for a couple of days and kind of having that, you know, hey, uh, getting used to sobriety craziness, which all of us kind of go through when we get sober. Right. Um, um, so w were people just trying to throw him under the bus, or, or did he take a little while? I mean, is he doing all right? Because I actually like the guy. Yeah, he's not using any drugs. Hmm. Okay. Oh, yeah. drugs. But a little uh, little alcohol here and there. Oh, oh, goodness. A little wine, maybe. Who doesn't like a beer? A little too. wine, I'm thinking. I'm thinking a beer guy. Wine's safe. Maybe a, maybe a beer. Yeah. What do you think? Yeah, beer. Well, Great. is it a point where it's not addictive anymore, where it's just a social thing? I mean, some people stop using the hard drugs uh, and, and at least drink socially without fucking abusing drugs. Mm. I've never seen him drink or use illegal drugs. Oh, oh. All right. Um, or do you drink or no? Rarely. Oh, rare. Okay. It's easier if you're around people who aren't fucking loaded all the time. You know, it's like when you're cleaning up, it helps to be around people who are having a drink once in a while as opposed to fucking, you know, people that are piping it in. She drinks yeah, vegan no, vodka. I like that. And actually, mm. the whole time that I was over at Charlie's, I never even did have a sip because, you know, it's like I... It's not something that I ever, I, like I said, I usually just do it on occasions or something, so I just didn't do it at all, just out of respect well, for him. Sure. And, and we believe that he wasn't using. That That was our take on it, if you remember, Jimmy. Yeah, we, I didn't we think were he saying was saying he was either. more manic from maybe coming down from some stuff. Yeah. We didn't think he was still using mm. at all. It doesn't sound like that. there was that crazy of a time going on over there. Like, was it pretty civil, just kind of watching movies and hanging out? No, it wasn't that. <laughs> oh, really? I can tell you, it wasn't that. It was um, yeah, uh, a lot of, a lot of work, a lot of cameras there all the time, and interviews, and putting the show together. And there were always people there, and it was very much just the the show, the the focus every day from wake up to bed was the show. Was really? it hard to? And I, and I hate to say it, like I can't, I don't know how to phrase this. I mean, I'm going to sound like the fucking fruitiest guy. <laughs> But did you feel like when, when a lot of this stuff is happening that, like, your needs weren't being met? Like, and I, I don't mean that in some corny way, but it's like, it's like, hey, look, I need attention, too, or I need to be taken care of on some level um, just as a person. And when all the focus is on one individual, sometimes that's hard for the people around them. New comment. <laughs> all right. That's New a possibility. comment, lad. <laughs> that's a possibility. Yeah, there is no sex going on. Uh, but uh, it's uh, hard. If, if some, it's almost like when somebody is going through something. Then almost I feel guilty if I have something that I need addressed because the other person's issues seem a lot worse than what I'm dealing with. So maybe that's what it was. Yeah. IDK. IDK. Oh, I don't know. I took did, you, uh, to get that. did you really break know. up with him uh, through a text message? No, I didn't. I left in Canada. Oh. Oh, see, that's a rumor. It's another fucking rumor. Yeah, that's Take out there. Our, our pretty strong from Twitter. All right. Yeah, that you just uh, you said goodbye on uh, through a text message. All right. So you left in Canada, and uh, did it make you laugh when you hear about the fucking bullshit that people throw out about what happened? Not ha ha funny laugh, but like ugh, <laughs> annoyed. <laughs> Um, d like as far as the press and everything goes, what they're saying? Yeah, or just like, again, like Ope said, like, did, did they, you know, th there was a rumor going around that you broke up with them via text, and that seemed like a little cold, and now you're saying, no, you just, you just left in Canada, and that was that. Yeah, uh, it's, it's annoying, yeah. Do you want to correct people when you, I'm sorry, do you, do you want to correct people when you hear that? Like, do you want to, like, fucking email the person and go, hey, fuckhead, you got it wrong? <laughs> Correct. If I really wanted to that badly, I would do interviews, but it's not that important to me. I don't really care. Okay. Are you are you going to go back on the tour? No. That's it? You're done, Ski. <laughs> Comedians are so much easier than actors who make a lot of money. We're, we're very low maintenance. That's the beauty of us. <laughs> and, and you left in Canada. Was it your choice or, or he basically hinted that it was time for you to move on? No. I, I left. Um, um, on your I, terms? No. Um, mm. nobody knew I was leaving. Ah, kind of. Oh, you just said, okay, it's time to go. Yeah. yeah. And, uh, were you, when you were, when you were heading for, I'm going to guess the airport, did you keep check, oh. did you keep checking your, your text hoping that somebody noticed that you left or, or, or? No. Oh, you didn't, okay. <laughs> Wait a minute, you know. I, I waited until I got through customs before I even told anyone that. Oh, 
there's an there is an important point here. Charlie was the one that said on stage that oh, uh, Brie, okay, right. Bree uh, broke up or whatever through a text message. That's where that came from. That wasn't even the media. That was from Charlie himself. Oh, okay. There you go. That's right. Mm. What are those? Do we hear animals they're, in the background? Geese. That's I geese. Hear geese. Yes. Oh my gosh, they drive me crazy. Let me tell you something. Water may be a beautiful thing, well, but never feel. move. Never build a house next to water because these mm. geese. People, okay, I'm a vegan, so I don't need any meat or anything. But instead of like turkeys, people need to start eating geese for like. Oh, is that you? Just want to get rid of these fucking things? <laughs> yeah, they are noisy. You want to shoot them <laughs> for animals. sport? Yeah, and just, I, I don't eat them. I just kill them. Yeah, <laughs> or just you know you want to do you want to capture them and punch them in their fucking in their in their geese sides. Karate chop to their big long necks. Geese have the most punchable wing area because they're fucking loud and they're mean motherfuckers too. They're not pleasant at all. They got a great they're neck not. to choke. They're disturbing my swans in the pond and everything. Swans. Wow. Oh, they're also nasty though. Swans are supposed to be fucking vicious too, right? Well, that's why they put them in here is because they're supposed to keep the geese away. But there's just mm, there's two to like a thousand, so it's not working very well. Yeah, apparently you have a real like swan goose fuckathon going out on your leg. <laughs> Shotguns keep <laughs> geese away. <laughs> yeah, the, the strategy backfired. They're just having this fucking hybrid bird that's louder and meaner. <laughs> hey, Bree, in all in all fairness, a lot of people are frustrated by the no comment thing. We understand. Um, will there come a time where you'll tell your side of the story? I don't know. As of now, though, you're, I, I you're don't just know, leaving it alone. Who's saying that? Are you guys getting in live feed from the listeners? Or something? Yeah, yeah, we yeah, always yeah, have yeah. that. They always you know what? Th through listen Twitter and everything else. Listen up, listeners and Twitterers. I have told these guys more than I have told anything to anybody. So true. And it's oh yeah, we're we're we got a few things out. But it, but it, the point it, it's they want to know how Charlie fucked and they want to know what kind of drugs oh, of and you know the deal. Yeah, yeah, she's not. Uh, She's not doing that. It's odd. I don't even... I'm such a pervert. I don't care about the drug. Like, if he was fucking... If he was literally smoking coke out of one of the geese's heinies, I wouldn't care. <laughs> All I care about is the sex. That's where my perv mm. mind goes. Oh, my goodness. I mean, I probably would if there was something smoking out of a geese's ass. I'm exaggerating. That would be interesting. Was Jimmy good? <laughs> yeah. No, yeah. No comment. Does he have a big <laughs> hog? <sighs> hmm. I'm, yeah. Oh, is God, it, God bless her. You definitely it, have taken some acting classes. She's look, very good. <laughs> yes. Look, Jimmy, this is what I got to do. If she's not going to answer questions about Charlie, she's going to answer questions about you, I don't sir. think she remembers. Our, our, we we hung his, out. We were friends, but. Is his no, penis. No, I totally remember. Okay, good. I was just saying that, hoping you'd say that. Thank you. <laughs> is his I was penis, trying to be manipulative. Is his penis bigger than normal? Bigger than average? Yes. Larger than average? Yes. Yeah. And, does he get, and does he get a nice stiffy? Yeah, of course. <laughs> I did. Wow. Dog. Does he have big balls? <laughs> I don't. Oh, God. I'll tell you. I'll show you my bag. <laughs> and he's a really naughty texter, too. We've had some good... Oh, really? Uh, yeah, we have had some dirty ones. Yeah. Yeah, yeah we've had some fucking very... Dirty texting, though. I mean... They were on. fun, though. They were, they were actually... Perform. That, that's right. like saying hello to your grandma at this point. Yeah, yeah you don't have to perform uh, on texting. We know. kissed a lot, too, if you if you remember oh, yeah? that evening. Yeah. Ooh, Jimmy needs to know. Are you, is he a good kisser? I didn't need to... That's what I was just going to say. He is a very good kisser. Oh, thank you. But even, I even with his bird lips? I have oh, very. Goodness. I, what, what I do when I kiss, my technique is I actually close my eyes and I violently tilt my head to one direction. <laughs> and I just lip lock and I start moving my tongue as fast as I can. And women love that. It's a very sexy technique. That does sound good. And I rub their shoulders vigorously. <laughs> Don't you keep your eyes wide open too I, when you kiss? No, I slam them shut like there's a murder being committed in front of me. Because <laughs> they like that. No, it was, it was a nice time. It, it, it wasn't what you probably would have expected. Uh, a, a, a creepy comic and a, 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 a girl in adult films to, to be like. It was probably much more normal than people would have thought. Well, Brie <clears throat> is ridiculously hot, man. Yeah, and the penthouse is great. The spread hot. is really, really yeah. excellent. Um, honestly, you look great on the cover, and the, uh, the, the girl girl spread inside is, is very, very sexy. Mm. Hey, what was it about uh, Charlie that you liked? Um. <laughs> he's a handsome dude, honestly. I mean, he's not an ugly guy. When we met, he was just very charismatic and um, really intuitive and intelligent, and um, I was just really attracted to that. So. Is, is he like he is on, on TV when you see, and I don't mean just the quick uh, sound bites that make anybody look nutty or anything like that, but um, it, it, does he come off a little more normal 
in real life when you're just hanging out without the cameras there than he does on camera? Um, I mean, it depends on the day. Some days he's more hyper than, than yeah. other days. Um, when I first met him, though, he was very, very chill, like I said. Yeah, laid back. Very, very laid back when mm. him and I had first met. Um, that must be great, though, but, when you know, uh, he comes I, walking I up to you. I didn't even know who he was. I had heard his name before, and I thought when I met him, I would, like, really? recognize him, but I didn't. I How great is that? The hell you been? Anything. Jesus. <laughs> Here's the great part. She recognized Jim Norton and not Charlie Sheen. That really yeah. says a lot for how fucking certain <laughs> awful things can work out in this world. <laughs> what horrible <laughs> circles she's been in. <laughs> I know. God almighty, you need you definitely need an upgraded life if you recognize me and not him. It's fucking <laughs> But uh, honestly, do you do you miss him or are you okay and you passed it? No, I'm good. I'm mm. good, definitely. Yeah, you strike me as the type when you're done, you're done. <laughs> Yeah, you know, and it's like, I mean, I'm with people for people. I honestly, I don't care who they are or what they do or, you know, how much money they make or anything. I mean, obviously, or else I wouldn't have left. So, <laughs> um, you Living know. Living the life like, of Riley over was, there, as they say. It was say. cool for a bit, and then it was like, okay, it's not for me. Time to go. So I left. <laughs> And um, are you are you happy that uh, it didn't go any further? Like, uh, you know, that you don't have to leave a marriage or there's no, you know, obviously there's no, you know, kids or anything involved. Yeah, it's got, it's got to be nice just to be able to get a clean break. And leave. Yeah, I mean, you know, I have a clean slate. I've never been married. I don't have any kids, you know. Thank so God. Like... Don't ruin that fucking body. <laughs> Jesus. Maybe she has a kid growing in her belly right now. Oh, goodness gracious. <laughs> Throw yourself down those stairs, those you, new stairs you built. Do you know how mad, I, not to be graphic, but do you know how mad I was at myself that I pulled out? I really was angry at my, and, I, and I'm never uh, uh, mad that I, I pull you, out. Well, you want to share that thought? You had a, you you shared a thought with us before she called in. I, you know, maybe you. It's time for you to have a no comment, Jim Norton. Well, I just. <laughs> but she would be probably flattered by that. And I, well, it's, I wasn't. I, I, I you know, when, in the times I've spoken about, it, I haven't. I've never said anything nasty about you. It's no, not been, at all. It's always no, been very no. rave reviews, yes. and nice things. But but just that I uh, listen to it. Like, oh, I, I usually am fucking Pete pull out, and I aim for the fucking the carpet. You know, I mean, I want no mistakes. But I was like, "Fuck!" That was one instance where it was—it was one of my greater regrets that I that I did. I'm sure it's not a regret of yours. I'm sure you're. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm sure if I didn't, you would have just stood in the middle of the room and jumped up and down quickly, <laughs> just to fucking just to get rid of the fucking demon seed. But would you have Jimmy's blinking baby? <laughs> oh, oh. oh he, he's adorable. He I basically do. said he didn't want to pull out, Bree. That's, I didn't. That's, that's, he's in love. Yeah. Uh, it's, I'm not, because that makes me sound like an unhealthy, crazy person. I wouldn't say that, but it was just such a nice moment. You're a healthy, crazy person. <laughs> no, but I felt in that moment yeah. that we just should have made a child. Wow. Yeah. Wow. That would have been something. Yes. I, we, I had that feeling, too. Oh. All right. Well, there's plenty of time. I mean, I'm 42. <laughs> I'm looking younger and in as fine a shape as I did when you last saw me. <laughs> Pulling out is one of the hardest things you know, to do. It's fucking, most times it's write fucking a song about that. easy breezy. You know that? Really? Yes. I don't know if this is going to work, oh, no. but I'll try. I feel uh, like that horse in Oregon. <laughs> That's how I fucking come. Uh, Jimmy, and a man's ass. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Jimmy's also touring the the country, doing his comedy thing, his anti-social thing. I am, yes. Selling out bigger places than Charlie Sheen, by the way. I don't know about that. Bigger places. Yes. No, because all she got to do is look on the website and go, "Oh, we did that theater, not this one." Oh. How great would it be if Bree also just showed up at one of the shows for little Jimmy Norton? No comp tickets. Oh, sorry, Bree. <laughs> <laughs> got to buy your own. Everybody but... pays. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> How great! The place would go nuts. That the, the little Jimmy Norton's friend. Came uh, out just to support yeah, Jimmy. Would so I wouldn't, nice. but I wouldn't it's honestly, dude. Girl. I'm fucking. I would. I this. I would be so. I wouldn't want to bring her out because then it's just like, eh. Yeah. Then, then I'm. T I'm I've I'm, tried. I'm just too fucking asking for somebody much better looking to come along and Aww. fucking wreck my night. So I would. I probably would actually keep her fucking locked up in the for with, the, with in the, the bounty in the fucking cabinet. Like yes. don't don't say nothing. If you have to go to the bathroom, knock twice. I'll let you out. <laughs> All right. Um, penthouse this month. Very yeah. sexy. I really very, wouldn't. I really hot. wouldn't lock you up and just let you out to use the bathroom. That was something yeah, serial was, killers say to their fucking yeah. <laughs> victims before they masturbate into their shoes, and uh, it's, a, it's what Jerome Brutus would say to people. Um, but yeah, I'm happy to. Uh, I'm, I'm happy to hear that you're uh, single again, and 
You know, you're doing uh, you're doing well. You sound good. She's doing her. Uh, yeah, yeah, she's doing Bray. Um, what are we promoting, Bray? Penhouse. I know the penthouse is out. Penhouse. Yeah, I know the penthouse is out. You're on the cover. Once again, it's the May issue. You see her right on the cover. And like Ann said, uh, nice, a nice spread where she's lezzing out. Yes. Lezzing. <laughs> it is a very, very sexy spread. So Did what, Jimmy uh, eat your pussy? Oh, ask Jesus. her nicer. Let's th ask her nicer. How, how, do, you, how, how do you ask that nicely? <laughs> oral sex. Hey, I thought that was being nice. No, I, no, no. I, she's a nice girl. Did you, did you guys have, uh, say, did you and Jim have oral sex? Oral sex is oral the way to go with enjoy, that? And then she'll probably say, Jim, is, should I say? And I'll say, Bree, you can certainly say that we both did that really nicely to each other. Oh, my but I don't want to. I don't want to speak for you. Did he awkwardly sniff your hiney? Oh, my goodness. No, <laughs> There's no awkwardness so when Jimmy weird. sniffs a hiney. He's a professional. <laughs> no. No, hold on. Don't blow up my spot here. Uh, we had a very, very, uh, let's just say a very nice. No, Jimmy yeah, talks uh, about it as a very, very, he doesn't really talk in detail about it. No, nah, but I've always spoken no, about he, it nicely. He really, really likes you. Well, I could tell. <sighs> Who wouldn't? Yeah, that's why he kept blowing me off. I didn't oh, blow, you blow damn. off Brie Olsen. Jimmy. I didn't blow off Brie, but it's supposed uh, to be the other way around. I honestly, we both we both travel extensively, and uh, I have I haven't seen you in probably th th you were in studio once in the last two years. That's the last time I saw you. You keep on getting these girlfriends, though, Jimmy. Oh, I know. Oh, shit, I, I, Jimmy's a good guy. I'm actually believe me. Th there's been there was a few times he was shaking, and I I have not broken. I mean, wow. uh, I know I've been a, a a good boy. I mean, all right, sir, look, does transsexual porn count as cheating? Let's certainly hope not. because <laughs> 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 if it does, I'm the cheating kid. <laughs> but um, yeah, no. I have not. I haven't even seen Brian probably over two, two years. years. Wow! No, it's the last time she was here. It's a while now. When are you gonna be in New York again? We would love to have you come in and uh, just hang. Goodness, I don't know, but when I come, I will for sure come in. Okay, I'd good. Yeah, that'd be nice. And it's uh, Brie Olson on Twitter. And uh, yes, yeah. at Brie Olson, B R E O L S O N. And what is your on Twitter? What is your? Do um, you have a website, or are you just doing Twitter? Brielson dot com. Okay, and uh, the, the pet house, is it in is it in stores now? Yep. Oh, it's on stands right now. Okay. Wait, you know what? We were focused so much on Charlie. I don't know. Uh, there might be more no comments, whatever. But I got to ask about the D the the uh, DUI thing. Oh. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. No, what, what's up with that? What? <laughs> well, you you just pled guilty, I guess. Yeah, I did. One of those nights. It was eh? just one of those nights, huh? No, it nights. really wasn't. I slipped on ice, and I honestly don't remember what happened after that. I uh, wrecked my car. And uh, I, blows. I don't remember. I woke up and I was in in jail, and I must have hit my head or something. Damn, yeah, that's, that's scary a, though, that's right? When one. you don't remember it, S stick to that. I mean, <laughs> it's like you know, anytime I drink, I've I've always had you know my entourage with me. You know, it's I, it wasn't even that late. I went to meet with one of my friends here at a local club because he wanted me to uh, do like covers and ads for him. And so we were having a meeting about that, and I was driving home. It was like 11 o'clock at night. It wasn't even that late, and um, slid on ice. And that's the last thing I remember was sliding. Wow, and then you woke Damn. up in jail? Yeah. That sucks. Did that make you not want to drink and drive again? <laughs> Dude, I, I seriously, I had two beers. That's wow. scary. Oh, God. It's fucking scary. The hell that happened? Two beers? Well, she's small, too, so I'd have yeah. registered something. Maybe a roofie in there or something. And it was like, um, you know, we were we were going to take it to trial and everything, obviously, because I'm like, I'm, I'm not going to, you know, plead guilty to something that I didn't do. And I don't have a criminal record at all. I mean, nothing. I'm, I'm you know, very law-abiding. And um, so we were going to take it to trial. And then my attorney, he got a hold of the tapes and everything from the jail. And you can tell I'm not drunk, but because, but I was conscious though. And I was just, and I wasn't slurring or anything, but I was insulting the officers and I kept asking for my attorney and I kept telling them to let me go and that I was a vegan and that I should be let go because I'm vegan. <laughs> Oh shit, wow. that's got to, that's got to be hilarious. Yeah. And it, it was, and I was like, after I seen that, I'm like a jury is never going to sympathize with me. No, with they're going to say she's hammered and yeah, yeah. but it, you know, but um, you know, I wasn't like I said, I wasn't, and I was in like six inch stilettos, and I wasn't like swaying or tipping over anything. I was perfectly straight in the in the tests and their little yellow line they had, and like I said, not slurring at all, but just, and I don't even remember that. I don't I'd, ar I'd arrest you too, though. 
I don't the cop, you. especially if she, especially if she hit her head and so fucking. Mean, mean officer. Oh my god, I'd be off the force in a second. They'd catch me in a back seat, just fucking her. It'd be terrible. No, I, I can't believe I just, they just sent me to the hospital because what? my car was completely totaled. It was a brand new 2010. I know, it's just Your fucking. Just crushed. My perv switch would go off and I would just lose it. Open up. Imagine that you come up to a car that slid on the ice and hit something, and there's some damsel in the fucking driver's seat. Just kind of semi-conscious. And her blouse popped open. And you're probably the, just the thinking, crash. yeah, you're probably just thinking it's some fucking, you know, hag that's gone home or something. And you pull up, it's Brie Olsen. My dick would be out so fucking fast. Dude, and you know what? <laughs> Holy the thing shit. Is, seriously, they probably, I mean, who knows? Because we asked for all the video surveillances of the oh, cop cars. Uh oh, One funny. squad car Jesus. turned in the tape. And oh, six, boy. Six Cops did not turn in their tapes and said that they were non-existent. Yeah, yeah, the cameras all broke. Oops, what oh happened? boy, you should have fought this because uh, it's very suspicious that they got you and you only drank uh, two beers. Did you wake up with uh, what you thought was strudel icing on your back? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I didn't. Oh, okay, no, I didn't. Just making sure. Um, but I, yeah, I, I, like I said, I, it was really screwy and it was really messed up. And I was going to take it to trial, but it's like, and especially, it couldn't have happened at a worse time with Charlie yeah, yeah. involved and everything. And I was like, well, great, you know, how is everyone going to look at me now? So I just was like, whatever. And you know, I can get it off my record in a few years with good behavior and everything, which I won't yeah. have a problem with. So I'm not worried about no, it. No, it's weird. It says here uh, she's got to serve one year of unsupervised probation. <laughs> what is that? Yeah, what is that? <laughs> She doesn't have to go see it. Double office. secret probation. Right. They'll they'll just know. <laughs> yeah. Hey, um, do, I, I think you should have went to trial. I mean, I, I don't know how you don't think a jury would believe the I wasn't drunk um, vegan argument. That's worked <laughs> in many, many DUI cases. <laughs> you don't understand. That wasn't liquor. That was tofu. I was vomiting. <laughs> uh, do, you have, do, do you have trouble going to regular restaurants? Uh, it's not that bad. I mean, some places like Olive Garden, they put egg and milk and everything because like vegan, it's so extreme. Like even noodles, you have to make sure they're not made out of egg and even like red sauces, sometimes they'll put butter in it and I can't wow. have butter. So it's like, it's really extreme. So literally Olive Garden, there's Crazy. nothing there that I can eat. Nothing. Unless I got their lettuce plain in a bowl. Oh, um, wow. But most restaurants, you know, I can get like spinach salad or, you know, something else or noodles if they're not made out of egg and stuff like That's that. That's crazy. It's like so, such, it's so restricting on what you could eat. Any reason? Is it health or fucking like morality? I read this awesome book. It was actually a New York Times bestseller book. It was called it. How to Annoy Everyone I Go Out to Dinner With. <laughs> no, no, they're not. Everyone's usually really interested. In, is is uh, this the book that I wrote? Animals. They're not just for eat. Uh, I was going to say they're for fucking, but I shut that up. Oh, I, I just couldn't say it. All right, so what was the book? It's called Skinny Bitch. And um, there's also a male version called Skinny Bastard. And it's actually when I was on the heavier side um, about a year ago now. And I got up to uh, a little over 140. And I was like, I just need to make a change. So I got on my iPhone and I went to iBooks and I downloaded this book, which I thought was just going to be a diet book. You know, they really fool you with the name called Skinny Bitch. Mm. And I started reading it and it turned out to be a lot about veganism. And usually, I mean, I'm an Indiana girl. I love steak and potatoes and all that. Oh, shit, right? And and I literally read that book in one sitting and switched overnight and never ate meat or anything again. Do you? Why, why not? Why uh, not just vegetarian? Why full on vegan? Because a vegetarian, there's still dairy and um, eggs and all that, and that's still really fattening. And oh. it also supports the veal industry. And you know, I can go into that for days, but. Mm. I've always Real. been an animal lover, and so, you know, I got all animal oh, rights. Which uh, film is that? <laughs> oh, sorry. I'm teasing, of course. Hey, 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 hey. LOL. Hey, 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 LOL, yes. LOL. Winky face. Ah, well. Well, Bree, um... Thanks for calling You're hot as fuck. Yeah, you look, uh... Again, you look really good in the, uh... And, you know... Yeah. I don't buy magazines much. And I was given this one for free, so I don't have to buy it. But uh, this is a fucking very good issue. Yeah, so absolutely. congratulations on a great shoot. You certainly made a, a nice one to come back to. Thank you. And uh, we'll see you when you're in New York. You're welcome to come in any time. Thank you, guys. All right. It was good talking to you again, and I'm glad you're doing okay. You sound like you're fine. Thank you. I love you guys. All right. Yeah, we'll talk to you soon. Tonight. All right, Bri. All right. Bye, Bri. Bri Olson, everyone. There From she Fort goes. Wayne, Indiana. Yeah, like the no comments. Oh, I'll tell you why they didn't bother me, because she wasn't seeking out, like, hey, I need to... 
you know, she hasn't been talking to anybody, so it's like. Yeah, yeah, she yeah, said she gave know. us more than anyone else, and oh, I, I haven't heard her say anything to anybody. I like kind of respect yeah, exactly. it in a way because she's not exploiting it. No. She certainly could fucking make a shitload. Dude, off she could be doing. All, she could be doing a lot. Yeah, because that's be why it's hard to this. just go. Well, fuck you if you're not talking. It's like, yeah, she, you know, she hasn't said anything. She, she's been offered a lot of fucking money to say shit. Um, some of the no comments I didn't understand. I think there's other things <laughs> going on that. Even the press hasn't picked up on that she's kind of keeping on the Maybe. the DL as they say. I, I think um, my thought is that she was done with Charlie Sheen a long fucking time ago. Yeah, and then it turned into this thing. And it maybe it became a business arrangement or something. I don't know. A little publicity kind of a thing. And she got kind of stuck. I think she mm. wanted out a, a while ago, and she was trying to figure out what this That's whole good thing speculation. is. Speculation. I don't yeah. think. I I really don't think they were having. Wild, crazy sex night after night. I think it's all a bit. I don't think it was a bit. <laughs> Just being I, a listener. Yeah, I think <laughs> I think there was certainly some sex going on early. Yeah, yeah. I, th I oh, really yeah, think yeah, all yeah. that went away. I really do. You want to hear the noise I make when I kiss? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 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 Jesus. Do you believe that Charlie didn't do a drug or... or I do actually. I'm. I don't. Yeah. She said it. She I said no know. drugs or alcohol in in her presence. And she was she around. Didn't say it. So I have to Whoa. pee my sweeties badly. Oh, make a wee wee. But more importantly, wee -wee. Anthony's fucking visual on uh, <laughs> being a cop. Oh, oh come on, dude. When you see a car slid on ice and and wreck, <laughs> and you pull up to the scene. And you're thinking you're just going to see some Indiana fucking... Some Bayshore bitch. Farm bitch or something. <laughs> right. and, and then Brie Olsen's there with her ample breasts hanging out. Just being the, heavy yeah. and, oh, oh. and lofty at the same time. Yeah. Oh, yes. I just, I just thought of something. Maybe that's where the other six dash cam videos went. <laughs> yes. I no know. shit. We all thought that. Yeah. It's like fucking... Maybe she's got it like... You, a light dusting of glittery airbag powder on her chest. <laughs> somewhere, somewhere oh. there, there's unedited. There's an unedited six camera shoot porno. Yeah, starring, yeah. Uh, starring Brie Olsen. So, so, Brie Olsen and six <laughs> police officers in. Somewhere there's a. I just don't remember. Somewhere there's video of a cop that has like fucking uh, donut powder on his face. Oh fuck! From yeah. just going. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> just and getting some of that, those tits, getting some of that airbag dust on their just face. Fuck it. Her stiletto heels just <laughs> hiked up in the front seat, <laughs> grabbing her ankles and just pounding away. Oh fuck yeah! Um, I'm on the dash cam, holy shit! Yeah, I failed a lot of people today. They wanted the boring clip. They wanted the boo. They wanted this and that. But what are you gonna do? You know, maybe she'll, you know what it maybe is. She'll talk eventually. You got. It's like first of all, here here's the deal. Also, what I was thinking. Who? What else is there to fucking that anyone wants to know? I guess we all fucking know the story. I it's guess like, it would be big news if if she um, would have said that he is still on drugs. Obviously, so we asked that. Uh, it would be big news if there really wasn't this crazy party scene at the house, like the media has reported. Yeah. That would have been big news for us. What else? I, I guess that's know. about it. I guess he those are the two around big in a questions. Dress around the house, right? Shit like that. But you know, she's. She's come on before. She's done great things for the show. Mm -hmm. She's hot as fuck. Mm -hmm. So, uh, you know, we got to cut her some slack. Yeah, what are you going to do? Every once in a while, we give someone a pass. We gave someone a pass today. And she, like, what do you like, want from us? Know, she said she did uh, say more shit than she said on other stuff. I'm yeah. sure someone will pick something up on All it. right, quick break. And Nick DiPaolo next. Stay oh, there. Serious, serious. XM, the virus. The virus. The Opie and Anthony Show.